We make it quick and easy for you to find all of the best bars and venues in the Central Florida area and other places where uh, you might want to see concerts, you might want to get a delicious beer or handcrafted drink. Well, we got you covered. Let's start with Breeze Whiskey Bar and Lounge in Kissimmee. Yep. Eric just dropped off some pint glasses, some Tom and Dan pint glasses. So when you're by Breeze, ask for a Tom and Dan pint glass. You'll get it for free. And it lets them know that you stopped by because of us. Indeed. Which helps us. Yeah. So the Breeze Whiskey Bar and Lounge in Kissimmee is great. Also, Will's Pub, Little Indies, Dirty Laundry. Always something going on there. I don't. Oh, I mean, great it's, shows. It's almost impossible for me to tell you what's going on there. Whether it's bingo, whether it's punk rock, whether it's industrial rock, whether it's an emo night. It's, yeah. Uh, you know, legendary bands rolling through there. Will's Pub got you covered. What about our partners over at Hourglass? Yep. Two locations. Yep. Two locations: Longwood and their tap room in Orlando. Check out Hourglass Brewing. At hourglassbrewing.com. Also, Cafe Da Vinci. That's in Deland. A great venue. Awesome patio. Amazing acts coming I believe through there all in the time. August, they have the original Whalers, the reggae, the legendary Whalers making their way to Deland, Florida. Also, Salty Sisters in Cocoa Beach. Of course, that's Tiffany's Bar. The current seafood counter in College Park. Shout Dave. out to the current. They treated Maisie like a queen. She went in there to do a celebratory dinner because she got, uh, you know, first place. Yeah. They yeah. gave her a free cheese. Cake. Oh, that's oh, awesome. No, that's so yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that is solidified her favorite restaurant. You want some great seafood, uh, College Park, the current Bus seafood Decker counter. Was there last night with his wife. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They also got a location in Sanford as well. Alestone, uh, delicious beers. We got to get by there. I know. You and I have been neglecting Alestone. We got to swing through there. Delicious pizzas Monday. Oh, wait, do they ha- they do half off on Thursdays, right? Monday through Thursday. Oh, Monday yeah, through Half Thursday. off their pizzas. They make in-house. Uh, so great food, great beers. Alestone. Stone and Longwood. Of course, all our Sanford partners, uh, West End, Celery City, and Tuffy's. Yep. Uh, Tuffy's Music Box always has great acts going through there. Yeah, man. They've got some really good singer-songwriters coming to Sanford. So if you want to find any of the watering holes, go to TomAndDan.com, click on the giant watering holes uh, link, yep. and it'll go through, or go to TomAndDanWateringHoles.com. Yeah, and when you go there, make sure you tell them that we sent you. We love that, and they love that, too. Let me turn my phone off. Hold on. No, you're good, man. Don't worry about it. If it rings, it just adds to the <laughs> ambiance. <laughs> Hello. No. <laughs> <laughs> With us in studio, he's going to be at the Funny Bone. Yes, sir. Uh, two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Uh, we've talked to him plenty of times. Multiple times, yeah. uh, I will say entertainment icon, Bill Bellamy. Hey. How are you doing, Thank Bill? you, man. I like that icon <laughs> status. <laughs> it, that gives you, like, OG with swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because icon yeah, yeah. means you put your stamp on the game. People love you respect it and you have uh longevity yep no the longevity is me and daniel were talking about this, this yeah. morning is insane how much longevity you had and Thank how you. and how well you've handled it throughout your whole career <laughs> and you know what i'm saying like do you know, you know that i asked I, feel like every, GPT, I said find me what? one thing bad I'm serious. I did this. I did this. I, so I wanted to tell you. I said, "Tell ChatGPT, yeah, yeah. tell me one thing bad about Bill Bellamy." What he and it went down. It's it, went, it does this noise when it scours the web. It goes, <laughs> and it did it, and it came back, and it said, "Bill Bellamy and his family maintain a very private and squeaky clean lifestyle." <laughs> and I was like, no! Chad yeah. can't get it's in there. Not, it's, hey, you have locked it down, man. Yeah, I had, it, I, had it right. it, I, I had it locked down. But the beauty of it, man, honestly, to be quite frank with you, I think the the beauty of my career is just accepting it with gratitude. Yeah, Do you um, know what I mean? Where I was explaining this to uh, a, a young lady last night. We were like all sitting at the bar, and uh, she was an attorney, and she was like, "Well, how do how did you get in the game?" And how did you stay in the game? And I said, first of all, I got in the game like I felt like being in the right place at the right time. Yeah. You know, sort of like, you know, uh, almost famous that movie. You you you, you get the perfect job yeah. and now you're in the game. And and always being grateful for it because I was like, man, this is so crazy. I always just say, this is so crazy. Like I'm talking to Whitney Houston right now. Like <laughs> I remember watching a music video. But, but no, that can't be done anymore, right? Like when we think about that, and I think that the reason why Tom and I, when we see you and meet yeah. you and we talk to you every time we get excited, is because you were able to do things at the highest level at a time that will never, it'll it never, will never happen, happen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like going to uh 
Walt Disney World at the height of everything, and now it's done. Like people can't go back yeah. to the amusement park, you yeah. know. You, it, it, and that's what fascinates me the most, Bill, is that I think you lived and you were famous at a time where that, it, like in the '90s, where everybody had cable TV. Yeah. The distribution was worldwide, yeah. but it was pre-internet, pre-social media. So, so that was the one-stop shop. So you have a unique experience of being a celebrity. At a time that will never happen again, it didn't happen before that time because you know, and, it, it, right? It and, didn't happen before either. And that's you're that's, so lucky to deep. have that man. I, like, yeah, and, and that's why he's the icon. Let's bring it around. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. think of the list of icons: <laughs> Whitney Houston, Kurt Cobain. Think of the people he met that are no longer with us. Again, unattainable things yeah. that you can't. Well, you you can't just sp- can't revisit it. It's so crazy. I mean, I'm thinking about what Kurt Cobain did for. A genre of music, like a vibe, uh, a feeling in music. Tupac. That, like he was like the white boy Tupac, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, grunge yeah. didn't exist. No. Like it didn't even have a name. I don't even know how they came up with that shit. <laughs> but yeah. it was something that it, was in the culture. An inverse to hair metal or something. Right. It, it, was, it was like a different type of rock star. He was hitting a different type of emotion. Then you have Michael Jackson way over here. Then you have Coolio, you know? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. just eclectic taste in music. Audiences were being serviced in a way that they couldn't get it anywhere else. Like I, I was trying to explain this to my son. I'm like, you'll never know what it's like to go to a record store, like to buy a right. freaking album, to buy a CD. Like when is the last time you waited in line to get your favorite artist CD? Yeah, you, you just don't, don't do it. Yeah. It's just in your phone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a feeling, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, when they used to have um Tuesdays at Tower. Yeah. And Tuesday, Thursday, whatever it was, and you would go there because you know all the new uh, albums are coming out, or you would get. Yeah, it was new. How music did we get Tuesday. that information? I wrote, what was it? I would go to Billboard, or or I'd have a buddy. Sometimes you'd go to, uh, well, uh, with the web, you could do it. But before that, I would have to go get a physical copy of like Billboard magazine or some music industry paper and then look in the back to yeah see when the releases it would tell out. you when the releases yeah. and then yeah. you'd have to call the record store like oh, in my town it was specs they mm-hmm. were like a uh, or or around here was peaches was it an ind- like an independent one well it was an independent okay. and then you'd call like peaches and say like hey i want the new bill bellamy album and then save it say, for me save me one april comes out april 9th okay i see it right here uh we'll put you down do you want to take, we'll have to take a deposit sometimes they make you drive down there and get money yeah yeah <laughs> yeah because they want to make sure it's a sale yeah oh yeah. absolutely i I'm 48, so I still did a so lot of So it's a stuff. lot of people yeah. right now that's watching and listening. They're probably having some nostalgia right now. Oh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. You, well, got, you go, oh, well, my God, I remember that. Now. Yeah. I mean, you're still touring. You're still acting. Yeah. You got a book. Yeah. Well, now, last time he was here, did we talk about the book? We, I don't think, I think it was we were out talking yet. about coming out. It was because, coming. Because I can't wait to read it because every— Oh, you're going to bug out. Bill, you've got a collection of the most entertaining stories I've ever heard. Like you know, we, like we, we were, Ooh, dude, you should put him up against your Steve O argument. We we, we we were talking to Steve O a couple weeks ago, and I, I was just telling him, I'm like, you've done the weirdest <laughs> shit out of any human yeah. I've ever we're seen. We're trying to find you know. top tier storyteller. <laughs> Who is it? Yeah, and, Who's I'm, the guy that's the done beast. the most yeah, shit? I'm yeah, the beast. It, with celebrities, I think, I think you. It's me. Yeah, you. you have, I think the closest yeah. to me might be Jamie Foxx, maybe. Ooh. But see, the difference is I was doing it from the angle of they're all coming to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like Jamie Foxx is doing it because he's interacting with them in certain degrees. They're coming to me, so I had more of an opportunity to get these moments because, you know, MTV. You brought me more information. Yeah, yeah I brought like you I information. I spent more time yeah, with yeah. you than yeah, any other like, VJ. I'm getting... I have literally sat in front. I've, you are the black man I've looked at the most. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you got to understand yeah. it was not many brothers doing what I was no. doing, so you got to figure, you know, I'm on the number one music television. It's the only platform for, for uh, you know, pop culture. I'm the the number one VJ. Um, the I'm interviewing of people, everybody. I'm yeah. interviewing everybody, and everybody was watching it. it yeah. It's not like yeah. now everything's so segmented yeah, now. Nah, like everybody's got their that. little groups and stuff. Yeah. So, so, but ev- that was the only thing. So, we, as the world, especially the United States, everybody watched it. So, the height of celebrity. I'm gonna give you a funny crazy. story right yeah, now because yeah, okay, y'all yeah. deserve this. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. 
I was telling this uh, this lady last night, these two ladies were attorneys, and we were talking, to, I guess they were big Britney Spears fans. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. So I said, you know, they were white girls. They, they were like, you know, Midwest girls. I said, what was the best badass, you know, concert you ever seen in your life? You know, just <laughs> talking music, right? So, uh, <laughs> so the one chick said she went to see Britney Spears. She was like 45, 46 or something right there in her age. And then the other girl said she went to see Dave Matthews Band. Now, right. Both my <laughs> Era, okay, both yeah, my right. Right. Yeah. I said, you know what's the craziest thing about Britney Spears? If you would have told me 25 years ago, I would be seeing her dancing in her living room naked with with, with underwear on, just <laughs> looking at a camera, I would have never believed that. No, no. Because no, no. when I met Britney Spears, Britney Spears is just coming off of Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Right. Her and Justin Timberlake are dating at the time. Mm. I don't know. I don't. I wasn't watching uh, Mickey, uh, Disney, uh, whatever it was, because there were like certain kids were Disney kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're they're singers, dancers, and actors. Yeah. So they're coming up now. They're trying to shake it because what's my girl? uh, The other one that was uh, Miley Cyrus. Oh yeah, Miley was. She was a Disney kid, right? So I will never forget this. I am shooting MTV. I'm. Do you remember we used to have that camera that would come across the crowd? No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you'd be like, I'd be here. Hey, everybody, I'm Bill Bellamy here. We are here in San Diego for the Summer Splash Festival. Yeah, yeah. Coming up next is Britney Spears. Oh, God, you're right? giving me goosebumps. I'm you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. The the brother, you know the brothers, oh, this guy just happened to be black, but you know the guys that wear the yellow jackets? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, at every concert? Yeah. Sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My man said, hey, Bill Bellamy, you might want to put these uh, earplugs in, brother. Before you introduce Britney Spears. I said, what? He was like, bro, you might want to take these little cotton ball things, put them in your ears because these girls is going to go crazy and you're not going to be able to take it. I do this all the time. (laughs) I said, man, you crazy. I just had them in my hand. (laughs) So, Because what I didn't understand at the time was Britney Spears' audience were 13-year-olds. Oh, God. They were young kids. Yeah, yeah. So NSYNC and all those guys, they were performing for children, bro. Yeah, yeah, There was no grown women 17 and up to see these dudes. Yeah. These dudes were like dolls. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they were like dolls, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sitting there going, damn, this is a lot of kids. What is this, like a, 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 because they was probably between fifth grade and ninth grade. Sure. Yeah. I'm like, man, these dudes were performing for a kid. This is crazy. I thought it would be like 17, 19, or 20 year old women. No, it were kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So imagine Britney Spears is the queen of the kids at this moment. I say, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Britney Spears. The level of a scream you have never heard in your life. It's piercing. <laughs> Dude, I jammed them damn things in my ear. <laughs> it went. <laughs> it it sounded like a, a, it, it, <laughs> These kids, these kids were screaming as hard as they could scream. They were turning red. And she was out there dancing. And I was, oh, baby, baby. I said, Oh snap! This girl is big time. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. I didn't know. I mean, she was just coming out of Mickey, uh, Mickey Mouse World and all that. Yeah. And I, I lived that moment. Like that'll never happen again. So you got to understand. It's like you know, seeing Justin Timberlake go from being a, a Disney kid to being in a group to leaving the group and becoming Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I yeah. watched that whole thing. It's sure. crazy. And, and you know, at back then, you didn't know how famous someone was because there wasn't a number yeah. underneath yeah. their social media. Or what, you well, know, we're, now, we're also way you know, more focused on fame now. I mean, like, you got, you know, Joe Average will wake up every day, look at his phone, and go, all right, 706 followers. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm big time. And, and that, yeah, to yeah. me, is... Fought, you know, like that. It's it's not the same type of fame, you know what yeah. I mean. You know, now uh, with social media, everyone has access to some degree to to f- celebrity and their favorite artists. Right back in the day, if you saw Prince, bro, you were spazzing because it's yeah. like there's no other way. Is it's it like really him? Aliens or yeah, a it's like seeing the alien. Like, yeah. like like when I I never forget going into the House of Blues. 
Um, this How is, many famous dead people? Have you ever made a list? I know that's morbid. Every, I've met everybody. But yeah. I know he's met like everybody. And, and yeah, all bro. the people you can't go back to. Like you, bro, kinda, you kind of got me with Whitney. You got I've uh, been revisiting a lot of her music and her whenever. voice, and it's, just, it's crazy. It's the greatest ever. Whitney Houston was on my pilot for my late night talk show. That's what? how close I was with Whitney. Whitney is from Jersey. We had the whole cool like Jersey vibe. Let me tell you my Prince moment, because this is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So back in the day, we talking like 93, 94, there is a night where Tupac was performing at House of Blues. If you go online, you will see I was there that night. He was, um, he had on the wife beater. He's, uh, he's got Snoop in the background. Wow. Just that and the other. I was at that show. So... I'm like, Pac going in, because Pac had all this energy. He was thug like, y'all know the rules, you got to do what you got to do. Like, he was just on some other stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go in what they call the foundation room. And the foundation room in the 90s was VIP only. Like, you had to be famous to even go in there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, you're not just walking in the foundation room. Because it's like, it's like a celebrity green room, but it's huge. The own private bar and everything, right? So I come off, I'm coming up the backstage elevator, the private elevator with the velvet, you know, on the walls, the red velvet on the walls. It's got this own, like, entrance thing. Open the door, ding! It's a dude standing there. You got to have the right laminate and stuff. What up, Bill? All right, go ahead, Bill. Go ahead. You know, I'm doing, I'm getting all this. I'm getting green lights everywhere. (laughs) I turn the corner, and Prince is sitting, like, it's almost like there's a light. Oh! (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, a, a purple people light. That. A purple yeah, yeah, light. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. I, I walk up to him, right? And I'm saying, I got to meet Prince because this is my guy. I'm yeah. like, yo, my whole life, I saw Purple Rain. I'm like, yo, this is my man. I got to give him his flowers, right? So I go up to him. He was like, you're cool, man. I like you, Bellamy. I said, what? You know me? He's like, yeah. Of course, I'm supported. I watch you. I watch what you're doing for the music. What you and his voice was was deeper, like mine. Like his voice wasn't what I expected. I right, thought right. he'd be like, first of all, um, I want to thank you for all your support, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. dearly beloved. You know, I thought, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thought, because that, that that was a legend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dun, you know? But it was different. His this voice thing was, called life. Yeah, this thing called life. Electric word, life. That means forever. Oh so he, his voice was real chill. Like, he was like, man, have you ever met Apollonia? Whoa! <laughs> and she was sitting there. And, bro, let me tell you something. <laughs> I had the biggest crush. Oh, I, bet. I had the biggest crush on Apollonia. First of all, I, I never every, met a girl that fine in my life. I think every little boy. Now, you got to understand Apollonia. When you got a name like Apollonia, you <laughs> yeah. can't go to and, and, you can't go to regular school. Prince always surrounded, <laughs> Prince always surrounded himself that? with these hot ass ladies. The and fuck? then, like for me, I'm a, I'm a percussionist, and I was going to go to school for that. Right. So when he put Sheila E in the band, like I was like, oh shit, he's got a beautiful girl drummer that's like one of the best. In the, that's like, one of the best yeah, ever. He always surrounded himself. With beautiful like women, beautiful bro. women, and, yeah, yeah. and but then he cut the ass out of his pants. Yeah, he like, throw you off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'd be a fan, like, and then like, he have a blouse on. <laughs> like yo, the thing about him was he was he was a cool ass dude though. Yeah, yeah. Like he was a real dude. Like he wasn't like you know trying to be feminine or nothing. No, he just owned it. Like, like he, an artist. Like he was an artist. Like he threw on a ruffle a, a ruffle blouse. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and you'd be like, my auntie had that on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was fly on him. He could pull it yeah. off. And yeah, he had, so. you know, beautiful hair. And, you know, he, he's, and he, yeah. he was a good-looking guy. He, he looked Spanish, kind of like, you know, yeah, yeah. very well, light. Well, towards light. the end, he started getting real Zorro-ish. Yeah, so, yeah, he had the eyeliner and the, yeah. and the boots. But, but that's but, what old guys, I think that's what older dudes do, you know. Like, when they I, get I, older. I can't wait for my Zorro years. <laughs> yeah, when you get yeah, to when you turn Zorro. Tiny little mustache, I'm <laughs> walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, just got to zip zip yeah. on yeah, your I'm gonna, back. I'm going to get everybody. Yeah. So the thing w- was so bizarre, two things that were bizarre, was one, how cool he was, because yeah. I was anticipating him to be a little more standoffish or something. Sure. He was not like that. And then the other thing was that he was so small. I didn't know he was so small, because I'm 6'3", and I'm looking at him like he's the size of a child. Yeah, really. yeah, Do you know I mean, what I mean? Super yeah, petite. Yeah, yeah right? like, like Kevin Hart is a little guy, like... like it's, it, like Kevin is uncannily small. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't know that somebody grown could be that little. Yeah, yeah. oh I know. Because I'm like, yo, 
Like when when me and Cab was on tour, I was like, Cab, you actually sixth grade size. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that's crazy. He was like, Yeah, man. Not everybody always teasing me about my, about my size, man. What you want me to do? But I'm like, Yo, that's crazy. So when you meet people that you have a vision that they're maybe just six feet tall or whatever. Like when I met, um, when I interviewed. Um, Keanu Reeves. I didn't know he was that small. He was like five seven. Five oh, eight. I didn't know he was a little guy. Yeah, he's he's not big, guy. man. Yeah. He's wow. John freaking Wick. Yeah, they shoot him to look <laughs> real He's whooping tall. ass. But he's lean, right? He's like a lean kind of lanky. little dude, yeah. lanky, and he yeah. talks like a surfer kind of. It's like, oh man, yeah. you know, it's like this film's sake. It's a journey of sorts, you know. He talks like that. I like so, that. You know, but he's like, but he's badass. Like he's got an edge to him, you know, that I liked about Keanu, right? And then you never met nobody named Keanu. He's got like mm. a Hawaiian name and stuff, and it doesn't make sense. It's a, is it Ken? And you put the ooh on it, like you don't know what it yeah, is, yeah. right? But just think, every person was coming to MTV to promote something. Yeah. So I had the best job because if your movie was coming out, I had Will Smith on Independence Day. I had Keanu on Point Break. Right, right. I had, you know, uh, Alanis Morissette dropping her first album. I was there with Blind Mel and Sugar Ray. So just think about being at a place where everyone is coming to see you every week. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. So I'm curious, like, w because your interviews were so good mm -hmm. back in the day. Well, haven't and they pulled a lot of those? Wasn't that the thing mm -hmm. that came out a couple of weeks ago that MTV, the archives for MTV News and all of that, they started yanking it all down? No, they got stolen. They got hacked. Oh, they oh did. really? Yeah. Wow. So I don't know what they, I don't know how they're going to put it back up there or whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's all, like, supposedly it's all gone. But, well, it's all out on the internet, though. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, it's I mean, the thing that's released. It's their, maybe their Not archives. The masters, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, but how much freedom did you get back in the day mm. with interviews? Or were every, was everything pre, like, checked and make sure the, like, did you ever throw in questions? Oh, there that, was produced, the shows were produced to a, to a level um, where, you know, there were certain things that the record label wanted to hit that was one part yeah, yeah yeah there were certain things that they definitely wanted to um get out to the fans but then also too and i'm gonna give my shout out to matt penfield yeah uh, uh, uh headbangers ball right it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good afternoon guys uh matt penfield here and uh headbangers ball that's a great matt penfield yeah. man i love matt penfield. my wife loves matt okay, penfield yeah matt she's penfield. a big alternative rock lady let so. me tell you something matt penfield is my mentor when it came to music because Matt would be like, Bellamy, um, the thing that I do, man, it's just, you just gotta learn it, man. It's like, you know, going to school and the more information you know about the artists, it's the better your interviews would be because you'll be speaking from a truth, man. I would have thought that was him. That's damn good. That's, that's, that's the way he taught me the game. Yeah. He was like, Bellamy, just dig, dive, take a deep dive, man. And, uh, you know, you go in there, you know, you learn the artists, man, you're where they are. So that when you sit with them, man, they're going to talk to you differently, bro. Because you're not just asking him, like, you know, bullshit questions, man. You're, like, you're inside the world, man. That's really, yeah. That's really good. That's excellent, man. That is Matt Pinfo. <laughs> yeah. And, and so when... Shout out to him for losing all the weight, too. Like, yeah. He was, like, a bigger guy. He was the and now, first now he's Google. Fit. Human Google. I call him Human Google. <laughs> first Chad GPT was Matt Pinfo. Yeah, I believe it. Because Matt knew every... Matt didn't need to be produced, bro. Yeah. Matt could sit here with you guys and tell you what teacher you had in the third grade. He was that deep with it. And so when I started learning the music from that level, from Matt Penfield, that, that just, just that great information he gave me, I was more inclined to get better interviews because I know you. But you yeah, covered yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Did they? Did it start out with the typical? Because I liked it. Yeah, like, I only knew Urban at first. But did, I only they, knew. did they do that? Did they go like, oh yeah, we're You're hiring the, the black guy, guy to do the, the black stuff, stuff you, right? When I saw you, it was always, no. you were doing everything. Everybody, yeah. yeah. To me, I was like, oh, well that's, but that's, Matt that's cool though. Because, because you can interview anyone if you're educated. Sure. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you can interview uh, uh, interview Jeff Bezos. You can interview a, a finance guy and a lawyer, and you just got to get a. You just got to get adjusted to their environment, learning. And so when you're talking, you're coming even money. That's the beauty of a good interview when people can talk freely with you and feel like, oh man, he gets me. Then it's done. Did, so, did you, know? you sort of create the hunt for the modern day VJ? And what I mean by this is. 
You were always our guy, you know. Okay. So I'll just speak for my generation because okay. I don't think anybody's going to disagree with that. MTV, no, no, uh, you know, Bill Belichick. Yeah, you just go with that. Yep. Yeah. But then remember that guy? Was it Jesse? That they did a search mm-hmm. for like a guy, and then they brought him in, and it always seemed like as you were kind of pulling away to go do bigger and better things, yeah. that MTV was always chasing that we got to get a yeah, bill. yeah, they did. We got to get a new bill. The, they did that with Carson bill. Daly. Ah, I knew they'd hit. So what Sorry, happened yeah, was. Yeah. You know, I was leaving because I was like, listen, man, this MTV thing is not a 10-year run. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I was like, yo, bro, like, I'm getting up out of here before this thing hit the wall. And I remember when they were starting to do Beavis and Butthead and Real World and this, that, and the other. And they were starting to, uh, you know, kind of segue from the music. And sure. I, I was like, man, they if they going away from the music, this is about to get whack. Yeah. So I, I, I started booking movies. And I would do a movie, leave. You wouldn't see me for a minute. I'd come back, you know. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. go away, do a movie and stuff. So when I went away to do Any Given Sunday, it was uh, 1998. Carson Daly came in 98. So that summer, me and Carson Daly um, worked together all the way from the beginning of the year to the summer. And then that summer, I left to go to the fall. I left to go shoot Any Given Sunday in Miami. He stayed. And that was, to me, was like the kind of like pass the baton to him. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm not coming back. He was like, you're not coming back, Bellamy? I was like, nah, bro. I'm going to be a movie star. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you did. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, Hell I was yeah. Like, that's why I was like, nah, dog. You yeah. can have this. I did it. I did it already. Yeah, yeah. Spe- I love that. Speaking of any given Sunday, uh, you have, and yeah, you've told this on other podcasts, but a hilarious story about the tryouts. And it, this is funny because. Oh, I heard this. <laughs> because, <laughs> so true. because, like, I see, like, a, a, you know, to be in a football movie, you need to be an actor, right? Uh, for, for You need to. Uh, you be an artist sure and so it that obviously the directors and producers need an artist that is uh an athlete a little bit so they can pull so this movie off yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but a lot of people tried out for sure. any given mm-hmm. sunday and just tried to uh, fake that you they were an athlete. It, <laughs> yeah, no, you can't fake bro, it bro it's you so can't hard. fake being a soccer player bro yeah, no. it's, <laughs> certain, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's certain things that you can lie about you yeah. cannot lie and tell somebody you a skateboarder yeah, 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 you're right, yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't yeah. care how much you yeah. look like it. You can have the sneakers on, the vans, and the boom, boom, boom. When yeah. you put your foot on that skateboard, they're gonna be like, "Man, you don't know what the hell he's doing." <laughs> yeah. Right? Bo- Boxing is hard too. That's why. It's Same like, thing. Will yeah. Smith did an unbelievable job. Uh, you know, with, with Ali. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He training for like, I thought he did like yeah. over a year of training. You have yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Just because to even get cardio, close, you, you'll gas out like you first thing. Throwing a punch. Um, fake this thing, man. Yeah. So. Do you want me to tell you a little bit? That's, of yeah. well, that's, why, right. Jay, that's why Jamie Foxx is so damn good, too, because uh, yeah. he... He's, like, a, he's a, actually he's an a real athlete, yeah, so yeah. it's funny. So he, he, here's the funny thing about it, right? So we go to the tryouts at UC, USC. There's, you know, we're on the practice field, right? It's a bunch of cameras out there. Oliver Stone, you got studio heads there. Everybody's there. They got, you know... A, Everything on the side, like Gatorades and food and this, that, and the other. We're going to have a real all-star lunch after it, if you make it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Were you nervous, by the way? Oh, like, yeah. uh, okay. I was super nervous. So um, I'm like, okay, man. I'm going in there. I'm getting this role, bro. I, like, I was already tunnel vision with mine. All right. So I'm getting in there, and I'm seeing every actor, white, black, that you've seen in other movies, guys that came in to audition for either, whether it was for a quarterback, for my role, wide receiver. There was a my role was going to be a black guy because I'm playing like a T.O. or like yeah, a yeah, yeah, Deion yeah. Sanders. But there were other guys, you know, athletic, you know, guys that were tall or whatever that were you know going for the same role I'm going for, or whatever. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, same for Jamie, you know, whatever. At this particular time. Uh, Puffy is dating Jennifer Lopez. Okay. So this is, you know, yeah. <laughs> gotta, yeah. this got to yeah, be like funny. 97. That, that don't come up anymore. <laughs> yeah. Because I, you know I saw Jennifer yeah. Lopez. <laughs> yeah. Nobody I, I asked her. She don't even remember. She said, who? <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. She <laughs> started never, talking Spanish, okay? Yeah. Like, I said, literally <laughs> had a world yeah. tour that I think she pulled back from and an album. She and got she's away from that bit, dude. And she hasn't said one word about mm-hmm. Diddy. Yeah. Moving she on. Moving, moving forward. So really quickly. We get there, and, uh, you know, Puffy comes to the workout, right? So I'm like, wow, okay. I'm like, wow, Puff is here. He's on the phone. He's got, like, he's a, he's over there with, like, his entourage or whatever. So at this time, it's looking like Puffy is 
a star already. He's got the entourage and the thing, and he's like, yeah, I, I'll be over there in a second. You know, he's kind of that guy at the moment with at, the sunglasses and everything. And at this I've time, was he one guy. of the biggest celebrities there? So he's famous now. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. He's not a he's not famous as an actor. He's famous f- as a music mogul. Yeah, yeah, who yeah. wants to become a Hollywood actor? So okay. you know, so he's trying to make the transition. Yeah, in a way. yeah. Okay, cool. So I give him his flowers. Cool. So. <laughs> so <laughs> So the guys are like, okay, we're going to get all the wide receivers. We're going to line up over here, and uh, we're going to run some routes. Okay? And um, I'm in the receivers. I can't. I'm, I won't tell you the guys' names that, that didn't make it. But the thing about it is if you got the tap, you can go home. Okay, uh-huh. and you're gonna get it quick. They wasn't they wasn't letting you do too much. They could tell in two three plays. Yeah, yeah you yeah. get the tap. You just say, all right, I want you to run run a post corner route right now. Huh? The tap in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, okay. Um, can you run a slant right quick? It's a tap. That's a tap. <laughs> if you don't even know what those routes no. are. You already getting the tap, sure. okay? So we know we got we got wait got r- rid of seven people off that. Yeah, first mm. couple rounds you go. Oh, just, they just yeah. get to the meat. We yeah. getting all that. I'm out an the athlete, way. but I don't watch football. Uh, well, you get the tap. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Now, when I'm running my routes, I have official college quarterbacks throwing to me, bro. <laughs> the, the third dude on USC is throwing smoke, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's throwing yeah. straight smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's hard Especially as hell. It's a little white dude straight. that looks yeah. like Colt McCoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He is throwing straight smoke. Yeah, yeah. He's and throwing fastballs. Like, yeah. To catch him. Yeah, if you have never caught a football bro. thrown by, bro. A, by a college quarterback. You are bugging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to be in the movie, too. Bro, he wants to be in the movie, but also he is official. He's not. It's not a yeah, game, bro. It's real shit. I, you know who else was there too? I think um, Matt um, Leinert. Really, Matt, Matt Leinert was at USC at the time. Jesus, bro. It was crazy. And, and you know what? People are used to catching passes that have From arcs. your friend. Yeah, no, that have your arcs. Dad. You're catching arc pass. You, you, you You're are, a buddy. Yeah, he underhand spirals <laughs> it. When, when you yeah. catch a football thrown like a baseball, it is understand. odd yeah. to you. Bro, but you're you, like, what the yeah. fuck? Let me tell you how I know. Yeah. It was some smoke, bro. I yeah. could hear it coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard that. Yeah, so, because yeah. when you, you hear it. A, for any athlete. That play football, no, this is absolutely the truth. There's no way you can make this up. When you're on the field, it's a certain it's a certain energy when you're running. But when a person can throw a football like a baseball, yeah. you hear it coming. It's like a baby missile. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. And so when you run your route, you gotta get your head around immediately because the ball is already coming. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you got to you run your route. You got to turn because that ball is about 0. .3 seconds from your hands, bro. And your hands got to be ready because it's like, spoof, spoof, like... Did you practice with some sort of coach Oh, before? my God, I was practicing. Okay. Like a jugs so, machine bro, or something? Bro, listen. By, by the third round, it was only me and maybe one other dude left. The people were getting the tap, 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 tap. So now... I'm running routes. So what happened was, so I got through all the, uh, you know, the, the the routes and the stuff like that. Now I'm going to run my routes with the actors, okay, okay. which was yeah. cake. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You, that's like you throwing the ball to me now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After, yeah. after 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 Regular Aaron humans. Rodgers just threw me a bullet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your, his shit is going hundred. Yours is only going thirty. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, can yeah. catch that with my eyes closed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never caught a ball from. I, no, Pat O'Hare. That used to be. We had an arena league here yeah, in town. Yeah, yeah. This is like in the nineties. He threw one to me. One to me. I was standing on the field. He just hit me in the chest. I was too slow to even get my hands <laughs> on him. He just bruised the center of my Did chest. You, was, yeah, you're no, right. it was just. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's so my, my chest was black and blue. I was going to get to that. <laughs> so anyone that I didn't catch with my hands that I caught with my body, I, I was black and blue. Yeah. And That's how hard they can throw. Yeah, yeah. So cut to, this is circling back to the puff situation. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is what I knew he wasn't going to make the move. I thought you were trying to, uh, Jennifer, <laughs> no, Jennifer no, Ross, no. and push so it they aside. Said, uh, because they, they <laughs> said, <laughs> Sean Combs, you're up next, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on. I'm on. This, I'm waiting for him to throw the ball. <laughs> he don't even get the three step drop right. The three step drop, fourth step, three step, five step. So case in point, three step drop, short routes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Those Balls are slow. out. But yeah. boom, five step drops. Five step drops is like 
one, two, three, four, five to give me time to get down the field. Yeah. So, like, when you watch football, you'll notice if you watch the footwork, you'll know what the routes are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it's the little mechanics that you got to learn. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you're giving me time to run that route, and you that ball's got to be on the way. Like, literally, it's got to be on, the, on that third step before you get to that four or five. I should be almost there. Yeah. Because he can make up the time with his arm. Yeah, yeah. That ball wasn't going eight yards. <laughs> 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 I'm running down the field for nothing. <laughs> the, so, one of them he threw, it flipped back with the other. I said, oh, my God. Why did he think he could do it? I was it? like, yo, I'm saying, yo, what's wrong with his hand? Because the problem is he couldn't grip the ball. Yeah, so his the hands thing, are too small. His oh, hands are too those, small. I got, got the little baby ass hands. I got little baby ass hands, yeah. So you got I can barely pick up my Mountain Dew. <laughs> I got to do two hands. I'm, 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 yeah, you gotta pick up, puff yeah, he yeah. got to pick up. He got to pick up a Mountain Dew with two hands, yeah. like it's a. a, a Great, yeah. he's gonna start calling me Puffy Hands. Puffy around Hands. Here. That's like a real <laughs> bad insult now. That's like a real bad insult. Yeah. So now, I'm mad. You know, because I'm technically running for nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm not going to keep running down this field You've for You've been this out man. there all day, right? Yo, yo, I was there all day, and now I'm running for him for nothing. It's like, yo, man, I want to leave. I'm done. Like, because they told me I'm good already. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. No tap. I'm in. I'm tapped. Yeah. So he was throwing bullshit. <laughs> bullshit, bullshit. So they said they gave him the tap. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And then Jamie came in, and then Jamie came in. He was throwing missiles. <laughs> And there it is. It's That's crazy. Wow. Man, yeah. Yeah. Jamie Foxx, like, hey, he's so Nobody talented. Nobody ever that. tells that story, but it was true fact. It really happened. That's crazy, Wait, man. What, what's, he, what's crazy to me is that Puff Daddy didn't, like, he wasn't self-aware enough to know that he's, he can't throw a football. Um, bro, <laughs> you know, but, like, yo, okay, hold on. Why'd you even try? We had an intern. It's that embarrassing. Was, we, we had an intern, collectively, you and I had an intern. Who was no lie, four hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, and he thought he was an like anything you showed him <laughs> that was athletic. You showed him a wall. Yeah, people where are he delusional. To, he had to climb up and use the rope. He'd be like, "Oh yeah, I, I, I get up there." I got that. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know, I'm talking about. Yeah, then, yeah. He, so, then he at couldn't, yeah, I think he couldn't at do anything. No, he, no. Couldn't, he could barely walk. But my point is, there are people that. <laughs> Why seriously, I'm not being mean. It's just like he had delusional that, confidence. He had that yeah, confidence. Delusional. I'd be like, "Can you run a mile?" He'd be, like, "Can I run a mile?" He'd I be just did it, bro. Yeah, he'd be like, "Why are you saying that?" You ran this morning. But the thing about the thing about stuff like that is, and now we can laugh about it now. It's like you can't pump fake life. Yeah, yeah. certain things you just got to know how to do, and, and if you don't, you learn it. And if you learn it and get good at it, it will come off better, right? Yeah. And like for me, I always took things serious because I was like, dude, I want this role. This is my bir- my first big studio movie. Like, why wouldn't I want to be in this movie? Great right. Movie. Best football movie ever. Yeah, it's a great and, movie. And, and the thing about it was, we all, I still got friends from that. That was 25 years ago this yeah, year, 25 yeah, yeah, years yeah. ago. And um, and I still know guys who uh, either played in the NFL that was in a movie with us. You know, they were real. There were some real guys that really played in the NFL, and then they were in the movie with us, and they were real football players. Yeah, and they, oh, I know. They weren't playing around. Like, they were dead ass serious. Like, I remember when. Um, Antonio Freeman, Jaquez Green, wow. um, uh, Terrell Owens, and Dion was helping me run my routes, showing me how how to run them routes and read 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 the corners and stuff. What they're trying to jam me up. Like I learned so much technical stuff that I actually start looking like a, a football player. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. That, that, yeah, and but that just goes to the the amount of work that you've always put into everything, Bill. Yeah. Well, you know, you're a basketball guy, right? Yeah, I'm a basketball guy. Yeah, right yeah. on. And your boy plays, right? Yeah, my son is way. He's gonna be real. Good. Congrats like, on that, He's man. on his That's way. Cool. Thank you. It's like a real interesting journey, um, you know, with with your kid. Like, depending on whatever your sport is with your son or daughter. There's girls that are like playing hoops and soccer. And My girl's a dancer. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's, it's a nuts. journey. You, yeah. you know, you got to be in it. I always tell dads. How invested dads, do you get? How do oh, I? How man. do I control that? Because I'm too invested. It's too, you can't. And I cry. Listen, every time she it's takes so intense because you're an alpha guy. And when alphas, alphas with their kids, what you don't realize is you want perfection. You do, you don't mean to. You just want it to be right. You're like when you're alpha, right? But what you got to understand is patience. Because what you want could happen possibly, but it might not happen in the time you think. So, like, I would be frustrated because this kid is why is that kid better than my son right now? Like, why is my son not as good as him? Certain kids just get it b- early. Yeah, yeah. You it know, clicks. they're fast. Yeah. They know this. They yeah. do. And then, but, but 
my son was always good, but he wasn't the best. He was just a sl- he was like a slow burn. Yeah, yeah. He coming. You know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, man, my son, damn. Then all of a sudden it was a click. I said, oh, my God. I said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> like it's, 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 happening. it's happening, bro. Like, and, and, and then when I realized other people were like, yo, what you, what's going on with Baron? Yo, Baron look good. I was yeah. like, I know. <laughs> I've been yeah, waiting awesome. 12 years, yeah, yeah, 13 yeah. years. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then he started getting stronger. That's another thing. Yeah. They got to get the confidence. You know what I mean? And He was seeing it, I bet. He, it right? just started it's, happening yeah, for him. Yeah. And I was so proud of him. And then I had to step back and let you coach my son and let me be his dad. Yeah. So I couldn't. It, Support staff. You, you switch gotta, your role. You got yeah. to be their father. Like, yeah, yeah. you can't. You move from motivator to kind of picking up the pieces. Uh, yeah. Is what I had to, you know, it's there's too been some hard. Sadness. Yeah. It's hard to. Um, to do both simultaneously. Some guys can do it and coach their kids and stuff. I wasn't really good at that because I'm always going to be coming at him too hard. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be his dad. I'm going to let you coach him, and then there will be a balance. You know, it's funny. I was watching Receiver, the mm-hmm. new show, out, and Devontae Adams says that. He has two girls, mm-hmm. and he's talking to, like, an up-and-coming player on the Raiders. Yeah. And he says, hey, let me give you some advice. He's like, I'm glad I got the girls because if I'd have been given a boy oh my first, God. Hey, I, oh he's my like, God. I would have been such an ass. I would have been in it's him so much. hard yeah. that yeah, it yeah. would have ruined. He's like, the girls have softened me up to a point where, to go back to what Bill's saying, it is made me understand the dad part being as important, maybe more so. It's way more. The support, the comfort, oh. the holding, the picking up the pieces is just as important as the get on it, do it, come on. You know, like, yeah. it, I thought that was really interesting. Really, really adult type shit, you know? Like, like I what I would say cool to thing. coaches, because, you know, um, with with the parents and stuff, you know, there's those parents that are over the top. Yeah, they, oh, I see them. I see them. <laughs> you know, I, I can be over the top sometimes. But <laughs> but what I said to coaches with my son, I was like, I want you to coach my son. Let me be his dad. And if you if if there's something that you want out of him that you don't get, give it to me, and I'll get it out of him. Yeah, you see what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it has to be a relationship. Sure. Because I can't come on the court and coach. You're the coach. I can't do that, but you might need my son to be like an c- incredible rebounder for you because he can jump out the gym and he's super, super nifty around the court. Yeah, so yeah. I might need to encourage him that, you know, we need that on this. And he don't want to do that. Maybe he want to score more. But in this particular situation, we might need more rebounding. So I need to talk to him off field that, hey, man, this is a good opportunity for show everybody sure. how tenacious you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show that you're a role. Show yeah, that yeah. you're a Swiss Army nurse. Yeah, you're sure. a Swiss Army that you can yeah, do yeah. more than one thing. And he's sitting in the car like, okay. Yeah. I could do that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a yeah. two yeah. prong approach. Yeah. Right, right. You can't just I, beat them in the head with it. Sometimes I you appreciate sw- that advice. That's yeah. really good, man. Yeah, you have to do stuff like that with kids because sometimes, you know, they go, uh, they, they, they like, I know, I know, I know you're going to say, I know you're going to, you, you're going to say, I didn't do it. I do good. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they don't even know what you're going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Up, they want, up. they don't want to, um, disappoint you. So, you know, as a dad, for me, that was a really, you know, and it's still, you know, ongoing journey, right but on. it was just a pleasure to, well, good luck with it, man. to have That's, fun, you know. It's, it's, it's really cool to see that, man. It's freaking awesome. And it's documented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's gangster. Bill, before we get you out of here, and again, uh, Bill's going to be at the Funny Bone. Get yeah. your tickets. I'm telling you. You better get them. You, to oh. see Bill Bellamy, uh, the entertainment icon that he is, is a treat. And take this your man, man, take your wife. <laughs> yeah. And it's fun yeah. as hell! Yeah, yeah. And it, 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 it's an amazing... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. Well, one last question, and I, I, you have a story about everything. And, <laughs> and, and every I celebrity, you I think and uh, you know, interviewing <laughs> Michael Jackson, Tupac, yeah. every star, every celebrity. And then, so I was trying to think, and then you know, you've told them all in so many podcasts and shows, your own show, and get uh, Bill's book, yep, Top Billing. Book, top billing. And, uh, billing. But billing. I billing. haven't heard a story about this. And I, I really searched this morning to find one, and I haven't heard one. And because I, I, I saw you did a movie 
Kindergarten Cop 2. Yes. And with Dolph Lundgren. Yes, sir. And, oh, you love Dolph. <laughs> and then Dolph is... You're a massive Dolph fan. He's an interesting dude. Yes. <laughs> Hobo with a shotgun. Very interesting. And then I was like, I bet Bill has an interesting story about Dolph. <laughs> I <laughs> do. <laughs> so I, I yeah, would but love we have, to but hear but it. we got a hard out. I'll tell you, I'll I'll tell you real quick. So I, do the, I go up to Canada. I'm shooting this movie with Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, yeah. And he's about 6'5". Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's big mofo. Giant, yeah. Big mofo, right? In my whole life, I would never think I would meet Ivan Draco. Yeah, I yeah, here yeah. to yeah. break you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I didn't know his name was was. I thought his name was Ivan Draco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm sitting there and I'm bugging. Right. I'm like, yo, and he's he's interestingly weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> he ain't the dude that you like. Yo, man, let's just go get some beers, kick it, man, have a couple brews. No, no, he's like. Uh, I'm gonna go think about my life. Yeah. <laughs> He's deep, yeah. weird, and yeah, yeah, yeah. smart as fuck, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. he went to MIT. Yeah, now I've heard. Yo, it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yo he freakishly smart. Yeah. Like you, he'll tell you about molecules and shit. <laughs> you be like, "Yo, I I never thought it. Yeah, I never yeah, right. thought about it like that, Dolph." <laughs> Dolph. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, he is he, odd. He's oddly. Weird dope. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like he looks like a guy that could like sell guns to the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> he could yeah. kill you and then he could also, you know, come up with a cure for cancer. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Tough and smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough, Tough and smart. smart. Well, Bill, thanks so much man, for coming appreciate by. Man. You it, so much. It, you. It's always a treat talking to you. And uh we were just really I when I saw you were coming in, I was like, man, I we can't always wait to talk to you. Yeah. 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 When I come to Florida, yeah. I gotta I gotta kick it with my guys, man. You guys been always there for me and i love what your show is the energy is authentic and it's real man god bless much Thanks, appreciated guys love. uh we will see you on the friday free show Hi.